in module two of API 580 space inspection training course. Uh, we shall be covering the body of knowledge, reference documents, and area of examination, followed by some exam tips. So in this module, we shall learn about pre-qualification, area of exam, API 580, body of knowledge, reference codes and standards, and some exam tips. Pre-qualification and area of examination. Questions on the exam are based on the API recommended practice 580 in space inspection, third edition, February 2016. This exam is three hours, 15 minutes long, and there are 90 questions of which only 80 are scored. The remaining 10 are pre-test, which are not scored. Scored and non-scored questions are shuffled and unmarked, so you need to answer all questions. If you hold the current API 510, 570 or 653 certification, you shall automatically qualify to take the API 580. Otherwise, please refer to the table below prior to submitting an application. The minimum experience required must be documented on your application and should have been occurred within the last 10 years. So if you have a BS degree, you need just one year experience any experience in petrochemical industry. If uh, you have a two-year university degree, then you need two-year experience. If you are a high school diploma holder, it's three years and no formal education, a minimum of five years experience in petrochemical industry. Area of examination. You are scored for your performance in the following areas during the examination. Purpose and the scope of API 580, risk determination, assessment, management and reassessment through inspection and other activities, determining and assessing damage mechanism, failure modes, probability of failure and consequence of failure, personnel and documentation, risk assessment and RBI, planning and data, information collection for RBI. Body of Knowledge The API 580 Respace Inspection Certification Exam tests the individual's knowledge and expertise in the field of Respace Inspection. We shall be familiar with the following activities. Planning the RBI assessment, data and information collection, assessing probability of failure, assessing consequence of failure, risk determination, assessment and management, risk management with inspection activities, other risk mitigation activities, reassessment and updating, roles, responsibilities, training and qualifications, documentation and record keeping. You may note that the area of examination is exactly aligned with the body of knowledge of what is expected from an API inspector to know. The following modules Presented in our e-learning course shall cover the body of knowledge and more. Module 1 it covers exam and study tips. Module 2 body of knowledge and exam tips. Module 3 scope, references, terms and definitions. Module 4 basic risk assessment concepts, introduction to risk-based inspection. Module 5 planning the RBI assessment data information collection for RBI assessment. Module 6, damage mechanisms and failure modes, assessing probability of failure. Module 7, assessing consequence of failure. Module 8, risk management with inspection activities, other risk mitigation activities. Module 9, roles, responsibilities, training and qualification, RBI documentation and record keeping. Module 10, Reassessment and updating RBI assessments, summary of risk based inspection pitfalls. Module 11, highlights of API 580. Module 12, flashcards. Module 13, six sets of mock exams to cover the important topics. Our API 580 e learning course, as well as the blended e learning classroom training including our work exam questions are specifically aimed at sharing with you those concepts of knowledge. 
Our course is neither intended to supply you with the mere facts and figures to memorize, nor API exam question intends to verify such capability. After all, what is the point of memorizing when you can easily find them in the relevant documents? Our classroom training on itinerary is a three days classroom. On day one, we shall be talking about exam and studies, body of knowledge, scope, reference, terms and definition, basic risk assessment, introduction to risk-based inspection, planning, data and information collection. On day two, we shall be talking about damage mechanism and failure modes, assessing probability of failure, assessing consequence of failure, risk determination, assessment and management, risk management with inspection activities, risk mitigation, roles, responsibilities, training and qualification, RBI documentation, record keeping. And on day three, we shall be talking about reassessment and updating RBI assessment, summary of risk-based inspection pitfalls, flashcards, smoke exam, review of question and Q&A sessions. API standard are normally revised within five years and only a two-year extension may be given under exceptional circumstances. Reference code and standards. API 580 is noted as the only reading material for the exam. However, the following codes and reference titles need to be memorized because API may want to verify whether you know which code and recommended practice to refer to for a specific issue. For example, you should know that API 581 is for risk methodology, RBI technique, while 579 is for fitness for service assessment. Remember, ASME 8, ASME B31.3 and API 650 are the construction code, while API 510, API 570 and 653 are the inspection codes used during creation. They are all designated as code, which means they are mandatory. Also remember that uh, welding procedure and welder qualification are prepared as per the ASME 9 code and NDE procedures are prepared as per ASME 5 code. However, the acceptance criteria is as per the above construction code. That's ASME section 9, E31.3 or API 650. Exam tips. There is no negative marking, therefore answer all the questions. You can increase your chance by narrowing down the possible correct answer. To do so, strike off the obvious wrong choices during the exam by holding the most and possible wrong answer and right click. This will distract them off, helping you to concentrate on the remaining possible right answers. All the API questions are multi-choice for possible answer. API never uses terms such as none of the above or all of the above or both A and B or both B and C as possible answer. Remember that all questions carry equal mark. For example, a simple question asking for simple magnesium, MG or manganese has equal mark as that of a half a page long question. Although time management should not be an issue because the exam is 3 hours 15 minutes or 195 minutes long for 80 question score obviously here is 90 so that's an average of almost two and a half minutes per question nevertheless before ending the exam you may wish to set aside some time for reviewing all the questions once again or at least review those questions that you are in doubt hence it is recommended to flag off those questions that are taking considerable time and come back to them at the end. Note that there is a flag off button below each question. When solving the doubtful question, try to understand as why a particular answer may be right, while the other three given answers should be wrong. Eliminate wrong answers to increase your chances of picking the correct answer. You can eliminate wrong answer by holding the cursor on them and right click therefore shortlisting the possible correct answers. Please note that sometimes the wrong answer is quite a valid statement, but it is the wrong answer simply because it's neither is either not relevant to the question 
or the question asked is in negative form, not. Hence, it's very important that you carefully read and understand the question. Some API exam questions contain irrelevant information. This is not aimed to confuse you, but to verify whether you can differentiate between relevant and irrelevant information actual scenario. Some questions are solely based on your experience as an inspector. API calls them practical type of question or awareness type of question. Remember that all certification requires a certain level of experience in addition to the education and knowledge. API intends to verify your understanding of principles and theory, interpretation and evaluation, so mere memorizing the facts and figures of the study material does not really help. Although a few questions may come straight from API study material, most questions are either rephrased or brought within a context or within a scenario, or the question and answer are swap. Hence, it's very important that you have a clear understanding of the concepts and fundamentals. Time management is not normally a critical issue since the API exam is um, 3 hours 15 minutes long to answer some 90 questions of which 80 are scored. Please score the non-scored question or shuffle so you don't know which question are scored and which one are not scored. This gives you with approximately two and a half minutes maximum. Please note that time using the toilet, checking in and out, commenting on any question, reviewing the question, etc. is coming off your allowance. For better time management, flag off those questions you are not sure of and revisit them once you have completed all other questions. You can see the number of questions you have attempted and the remaining time on the top right hand corner of the computer screen during the exam. Remember that all the question carry your curve marks and the minimum passing grade is around 70% so it's logical to attempt smaller questions quickly and then in the remaining time try reattempting those questions that are longer, more complicated or you are simply stuck spending too much time on it without any progress. Although education can offset for this experience, you should appreciate the fact that unless you one does not have real hands-on experience in the field, it will be difficult to feel the underlying reason behind some of the codes, standards, and recommended practices. The experience is gained through observation, power of deduction, and is eventually a common sense reality. We have explained all the topics in sufficient detail so you may be able to visualize various scenarios. Thank you for listening and see you at the next module.